Hello, I'm Richard Vobes and I'm out on another walk. Today I'm in West Sussex. I'm in a village called Billingshurst. Billingshurst is, well these days, it's a bit of a bypassed village because the bypass came in, I'm not quite sure when, about 20 years ago. Originally though, it was a village that you would be driving through on the main London to Bobner Road, the A29. You will also pass through it on the A272 from the Sussex Weald, um, going from sort of Haywards Heath area in Sussex towards Midhurst, uh, and then out towards Hampshire at Winchester. It's a town that a lot of people probably don't stop at, unfortunately, because there's some beautiful old houses. And I thought I'd come down here on a recommendation from somebody uh, on my Facebook page telling me that it was well worth coming to see. So let's have a look at some of the sites along this little stretch of road, the High Street in Billingshurst. So I'm heading south as if going towards Bognor. On this road, it's actually the old Roman Stane Street, a very famous road that ran down to Chichester from London. But on my left hand side, and what you can now see, is the, the King's Head Hotel, or these days I think it's probably just a pub but it is a very fine pub, built around the 1700s. And it's three stories, as you can see. And when it was built as a coaching inn, you can see the arch there where the coaches would have come through. It was the tallest building in the village. Prior to that, everything had been t just two stories. As you can see next to it, here is a sample an example rather of a, a, a very lovely timber frame building with the Horsham slabs on the roof. Infilled now, as you can see, with brick, but originally that would have been wattle and daub. Let's press on. I was reading an account of a chap called J.B. Dashwood who was using the Way and Arran Canal, which in the 1860s passed this way, and he stayed at the King's Head hotel and he said that the the meal was very lovely the mutton chops were done to a turn the beer was excellent and the uh, the sherry was rather fine i'm going to cross over here so that we see um, more of the village i'm going to head up towards the oldest building which is the church which you can just about make out the spire in the far distance but before all of that I want to take you down to somewhere else, the Six Bells, which is a, a pub now, again built um, a long time ago. It's the only jetted building, I understand, in the village. And jetted means that the, the upper floor is actually taller and, and jets out from the lower floor. On my left hand side, as I come along, you'll see the, the rise of the, the little hill here and, and beyond the spire. There is traffic coming through the village, as you can no doubt hear, but that, this is nothing like the traffic that used to be coming through until the place was bypassed. Right, we're just coming up to the Six Bells and I just wanted to show you this because it is a very gorgeous building and well worth looking at. Um, it is a public house. It's a shame I can't go in and actually have a drink. Again, it's got Horsham stone on it. It would have been infilled with wattle and daub, something like that. You can see the wonderful timber framing, the chimney at the end, which implies that there's a, probably a big um, hearth down in the kitchen area, no doubt. Originally, um, it was a farmer's, a yeoman's house. Quite a big and a, and a a well-off farmer would have had something like that. Billingshurst is named, we think, from the Saxons. The Saxons who were down on the coast came up and brought their pigs, it's said, to forage in the wooded weald up here. And this is a good place for them because there is this hill which I'm going to go and investigate now. I just can cross over before getting run over. And the, the hill is um, a hearst. A hearst is, is the name for a hillock. 
and we think that Billingshurst comes from the Saxons who were here, a family of Saxons, possibly called Billa or Billing or some devoration of that. Let's stroll up to the to the, um, the church now that was built up there, up this rather wonderful little causeway. So coming up the causeway that goes up to the church, passing some rather stunning old buildings. Again, over time they've been modernised a bit with infill of brick. But you can see the original timber framing on them coming up to the war memorial of course for the great war 1914 to 18 and then to saint mary's church which originally i think may have been a saxon church here of some description but the the brickwork the initial brickwork is norman and then much more modernized from that point a lot of it is perpendicular quite a large churchyard as well to be seen it's a steeple by the looks of it shingles on the spire and the steeple very impressive let's just go around and have a look at uh, some more of the building we can just hear the the service going on so we won't interrupt them I believe that Nicholas Pevser came and had a look at the church when he was writing his archaeological um, directory of all the wonderful buildings in Britain and he said the east wall was disastrous I'm not quite sure and look, look at that beautiful door come round and there is the other the far end of the church. A lot of the houses you'll notice are um, hung on the face with tiles and that's very Sussex. Just looking up there seeing the guttering says 1866. So just coming into the Victorian period where the repairs are being made. The Victorians were very good at that. They did do a lot of repairs, but their interpretation of um, the original Middle Age churches was not particularly useful. Um, they sort of like to mix up the styles and the ages, which is a little irritating when you're out trying to investigate former histories. So here we are, back, back at the front of the church by the porch on the west tower and I'll make my way back down. Well I hope you've enjoyed my little stroll around Billingshurst. If ever you're in the Sussex area and you want somewhere to look at some delightful buildings, there's about 80 uh, timber frame buildings, there's about 20 um, in the town and the other 60 odd are sort of scattered around the parish so definitely worth looking at and uh, have a drink in one of the old pubs and why not? I've been Richard Vobes, thank you so much for watching my little tour and I will catch up with you on the next one. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the, to the channel and um, write a comment, tell me what you think. Always pleased to hear from you. Till the next time, bye for now.